Hello guys, it is that time again. It is time to Rix, Flix, and Relax. Today, we invite you to join us at both Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. Let's get started. Before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So the plan for today is to have the best Harry Potter day ever. It is now 8.30 in the morning. They have opened the gates early, but they're holding us in this holding area before they let us go on to Hogsmeade. I take this as a good sign that Hagrid will open first thing in the morning. <laughs> They have released the crowds to go to the Hagrid Motorbike Coaster. I'm doing my best not to lose Nikki. So far the crowd is pretty well behaved. No running, no stampede. But if you ever wanted to do the running of the bulls in Spain, forget that. Come here and do running of the motorbike in Orlando. We got on the Hagrid Motorbike ride at 9 a.m. The team members and the app immediately said it was a three hour wait. I don't think so. I bet we'll be on by, what, 90 minutes? That'd be good. That's my guess. Okay, I'll do 90. Now we are undecided if we're gonna do single rider or ride together. We'll make that decision when we get to that point, I guess. The other thing we're undecided on is if we're both gonna request a motorbike. If we're gonna ride together or both request a motorbike or both do single rider. All decisions to be made. So we have made a decision. Since we are trying to have the ultimate Harry Potter day, we're gonna go through the entire queue. That way we get the pre-show and everything, and we'll ride together, and I'll get the motorbike. One thing I really like about this queue, you get a good view of Hogwarts Castle. One of my favorite views of Hogwarts Castle. So we have finally stopped moving, I think, and it's very close to the Hagrid's old hut up here. So we'll see how long it takes to get on the ride from this starting point as well. So it took us 18 minutes to get to Hagrid's hut, and now we'll see how long it takes us to get on the ride. They have changed the single rider a bit. They will not let it back up to up the stairs because they're like, it's very uncomfortable, no air conditioning. So they hold all the single riders downstairs. They will not let it back up too far. While we're paused in line, let's take a moment to look at Nikki's shirt. We do offer this design on t-shirts, hoodies, as well as these tank tops. Go check it out if you're interested in this Hogwarts t-shirt or tank top, myrickslicks.com. just got off of Hagrid's motorbike adventure. Uh, first thing first, at one hour, 60 minutes. We got in line at nine. We were on the ride at 10. Yeah. So from the weight of Hagrid's hut, it was what, 40 minutes, 42 minutes? Yeah. So not too bad. That was really, really fun. Now, we did decide to go, we did split up, motorbike, motorbike, but the guy I was with, he'd never been on it before, so I let him have the motorbike side, which I think is the better side, so. It is, it's a blast, oh my gosh. So, a good way to start our ultimate Harry Potter day. Woo! Yeah! They really have been doing a good job this week of opening the ride up early. Yes, they have. They've been trying to hit it as soon as the park opens, and so far this week, they've done a good job. Uh, the flow was um, really smooth. I, we didn't have too many times where we just like were backed up and stopped and didn't move. So I mean, it was just it you know it was constantly moving and entertaining as you're walking through the queue. You're right. We were so not wasn't stuck in one spot too long. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. too bad in terms of that. Um, and then we didn't do single rider this time. We went just regular queue and we did it in an hour. So I would say my advice still stands: get to the park as soon as it opens. A little earlier, yeah. they opened the gates at 8:30, then held us in that. Secondary holding area. So you want to get to the park 
8.30 I would think. Oh, no definitely. later, no later than 8.30. Yeah, definitely. So since we are having the ultimate Harry Potter day, one thing we like to do, or Nikki does, she likes to paint a rock and hide it. So let's take a look at the rock for this occasion. Um, okay, so this one is just Harry practicing Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Not Leviosa. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, see, actually, he's in Hogwarts right now. That's his like a uh, little dorm room. Yes, that's his little dorm room and his little bed. And yep, he's practicing at night while everyone else is asleep. He's got his little jammies on. Very cool. Now here's the question, Nikki. Yes. Since that is such an amazing rock, where are we going to hide it? I do not want to put it in your usual spot uh, there by Dervish and Bangs. Okay. Well, did you want to do it at the IOA side or the Universal side? Because honestly, there's more hiding places to me at the Universal side than the IOA You're side. right. You are right. That's what have you with me. Pause the hiding of the rock. We're going to do that in what? Diagon Alley? Yeah, I have a feeling, I, I think I want to put it near the Magical Menagerie. Okay. Um, back okay. in that like, dark area. Very good, very so good. So I think that's now, where I'm going to stick. We are doing a different procedure for hiding the rocks. Since this is so popular, what we're doing, for those who follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. we are doing the first clue for the first hour. And then once that hour is up, we will post a clue to the Facebook group, UO Rocks. Yeah, so that way it gives you guys an advantage. And an incentive to follow me on <laughs> IG. But in the meantime, since we are in Hogsmeade, and this is an ultimate Harry Potter day, the best Harry Potter day, we should do the Forbidden Journey. Yes. All right. I like it. Let's go over there, and then, you know what? Let's try, we're not really gamers, but let's try, what's this uh, Wizards Unite? Oh yeah, 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 let's give it a shot. Let's do a little bit of that here in Hogsmeade and in Diagon Alley. <laughs> All right. The wait for Hogwarts Castle, the uh, Forbidden Journey, is 60 minutes right now. So this one, we will do single rider because there is a single rider for this one as well, guys. Don't forget about that. And we just did Hagrid's in 60, so this is yeah. ironic that this would be 60. I know, it's like a little anticlimactic. <laughs> it so. is a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> is not making me ass sick anymore. I know, right? I guess we're kind of getting used to it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to have to start ranking this attraction a little higher now. I think so, definitely. The main dining spot here in Hogsmeade is the three broomsticks, but we're going to wait until we get to Diagon Alley and get something that Nikki really likes over there. As I mentioned before, I think, we're not gamers, but let's do a little bit of Wizards Unite here in Hogsmeade. Maybe we can find something over there by the little Hogwarts train. Yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll put um, maybe your I'll try to... your night code so we can all follow each other. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Taking a turn at Wizards Unite, trying to find something. What'd you get? I got a troll. There's a troll over here? Yeah. Now you're not recording your screen, are you? No. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. You're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. You did it. You oh, got a troll. He away. What? He was floating away in a bubble. <laughs> And I overpowered a confundable, it was Hegwood. It was Hegwood! I couldn't tell I had my sunglasses on. Me too, the exactly. screen was bright, I couldn't tell, but we got it. 
There you go. Yeah. A little Wizards Unite in Hogsmeade. Woohoo! I want to try it over in Diagon Alley. Yeah, let's do it over there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We'll take the Hogwarts Express over to Diagon Alley, a little more Wizards Unite, and we'll continue our Harry Potter day. I want to get on Green Guys. All right, and I want to hide the rock. And we want a butterbeer. And, ooh, yes. We got Frozen. stuff to do. So guys, a couple videos back, I did all the character meet and greets here in Universal Studios. Yep. But I forgot one, and Nikki owes you an apology. Wait, wait, no, are you kidding me? Had you been with me, I would not have forgotten about the night bus. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. So you should have come with me that day. That <laughs> work. But to make it up to you guys, what I'm gonna do, when I do the IOA version of that, where I meet all the characters at IOA, I'm gonna start here at the night bus, then I'm gonna take the Hogwarts Express over to IOA, and then we'll meet those characters. So. Yeah. My apologies for forgetting the night bus. With that apology out of the way, let's move on to hiding this rock. Yes. You got the spot. It's going to be in the, uh, by the magical menagerie, right? Yes, sir. You know what? Forget the brick wall. Let's operate into Diagon Alley. Ooh, yes. Let's Come do on. It. Here we go. Are you ready? We're pros at this. Do not try this at home. <sighs> Woo. Okay. It's a good thing we operated. I think we had a couple stalkers, people stalking me for that rock. I think we lost them during operation. Let's go hide the rock. So I think we were jinxed. Yes. There's a lot of people hanging out in this little dark alley by the magical menagerie. So change of plans. Let's walk over here to Nocturne Alley. It's a little darker in there. I think we can find a better tougher hiding spot for this rock. Yeah, because I don't want to just drop it and then just have them see me do it and then just pick it right back yeah, up. Yeah, it's so. a good rock. We want this to be a challenge. Yes, so we'll, we'll find a better spot. So right over there are the shrunken heads singing. As we pan over here, this window area, this window seal, this is where we hid the rock. With the rock hidden, you can see Nikki behind me on my IG account, leaving the clue for my followers to get first shot at finding this rock. Hey, speaking of Hagrid's motorbike. Oh, I stepped in it. <laughs> All right, so Nikki, do you want to play some more Wizards Unite, or you want to eat right now? Uh, let's go eat. I agree, do you want to apparate or walk? Walk. It's not that far. <laughs> well, before we can make it to the hopping pot, we stopped off at Eternel's because Nikki wanted a potion. What'd you get, Nikki? I got the orange. So we got the orange, which what's the potion? Oh yeah, oh, fire protection. We need that, it's July, it's hot outside. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and a gilly water. And it was um, strawberry, watermelon, and or peach. or peach. Okay. That's the combination for the orange. And it was $9.75 for the two items. Yep. So we made it to the hopping pot for the beef pasties and a frozen butter beer. It's July, it's very hot. I'm switching over to frozen for a little extra coolness. This was $17. And then, of course, the ghillie water and the potion we got earlier was $9.75. Let's enjoy. I'm coming along to join Keen Frozen Butterbeer. This is how I drink my frozen butterbeer, though. You see the little top part, the little foamy part? That's like a butterscotch flavor. I'll sip that, keep that in my mouth, and then I'll take a swig of the frozen butterbeer that's the way to do it. This is winning me over, Team Frozen Butterbeer. What do you say, Nikki? Can I join your team and be on Team Frozen Butterbeer? Of course. Man, it's really good, especially the way I do it. You want to try it my way? Yeah. How those uh, beef pasties working out for you? really good. I mean, honestly, it's like a really cool, quick snack mm -hmm. when you're in the area that's hearty. So, um, highly recommend. I did, we've never done it before. You usually have it when we go sit down in like a, one of the restaurants, but this is the first time you get it as quick service. Right, and it's just the pasties, it's not the salad. Um, so it's like really portable and easy. Yeah. Um, so Which I is good it. because there's not a lot of spots to sit down and eat here. No, I'm standing and eating. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, it's good. Yeah. That's all good. And honestly guys, anything that keeps Nikki from getting hangry, I'm in favor of. You 
you tried the butterbeer Rick style, what would you think? Honestly, okay, I laughed at you when you first said I was like, okay, that sounds really weird, but no, it's amazing. Oh, in in Rick, we video. trust. Say it. No. <laughs> if we're gonna have an awesome Harry Potter day, we need to see an awesome Harry Potter show. So coming up, Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees. You guys enjoyed the show but as for now it's time for a ride the only ride in Diagon Alley is escape from Gringotts it's a 55 minute standby you know what that means for us single rider single rider baby <laughs> escape from Gringotts so much fun and coming to a video near you I am NOT gonna let you guys talk me out of it this time I let you talk me out of Slinky Dog versus Hagrid's motorbike adventure we are going to do Escape from Gringotts versus Hagrid's Motorbike. You're not going to talk me out of it. It's happening. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on the types of categories, yeah. right? That makes all the difference whether something wins or loses is the types of categories. They're the two like biggest, most popular rides for Harry Potter. They have to verse each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what would be fun right now? What? Here in Diagon Alley? What? Just a little bit of Wizards Unite. All right. Let's give them a sample. Let's see if it's by Nikki. <laughs> It'd be great if it was on your head. Uh oh. I've got something. All right. Let's see if I can do the spell this time. Oh, it's, I've got this one. Perfect. Well, how about that? I know I'm a bad gamer. I'm not like really good at games. I used to be like way in the day, you know? Yeah. But not when you so much out with your buddies. when you actually had to go when you actually had to go to the arcade. <laughs> That's when I was good at games. <laughs> uh, just like if you watch Stranger Things. That's what I did. <laughs> but it is pretty cool to do Wizards Unite in Diagon Alley. Yeah. And Hogsmeade. Highly recommend you try it. Yeah, if you're coming here, download, get that Wizards Unite and play that little game. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. It's cool. So it's been one hour since we posted the clue for the rock. Let's walk back into Nocturne Alley, check on it. If it's still there, we'll leave a clue on UO Rocks Universal on uh, the Facebook group. Yep. Well, a quick look to where the rock was shows that it is gone. Yeah. What does this teach you, Nikki? Then posting it on our Instagram works. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. That's what it teaches you. <laughs> Let's build up those numbers. Um, I hope it went to a good family. Yeah. But I should mention you are reopening your Etsy shop for more of a more variety of items now, right? Yes, I've kind of expanded out the images that I'm doing. The so, images. I mean, yeah. it's still mainly wood slices. Yeah. But you're doing different images now than last season. Yeah, and a little bit more detailed as well. So it might cover the entire you know, service oh, yeah. versus just one little character on there. So yeah. So if you're interested in only one of Nikki's pieces of art, go check out her Etsy. So we're pausing here to get a shot of the dragon. If we're having an ultimate Harry Potter day, we have to get a shot of the dragon, right? Yes. But one thing we forgot to do. What? Bring your wand. I know, I mentioned that over at the other side. I was like, darn it! How can we have ultimate Harry Potter day without your wand? <laughs> I don't know. go a pretty good Harry Potter date other than forgetting your wand <laughs> I mean but we wrote Hagrid's I mean that alone makes it a great day oh, definitely. Gringotts uh, the Forbidden Journey we hit a Harry Potter rock anytime yeah. you hide a Harry Potter rock it's a good Harry Potter day yeah. so you have fun I did I had a blast it's good to know I, yes it was keep coming with me <laughs> I'll show you a good time yes you will. <laughs> And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, 
time to relax. And now I would like to take this time to say thank you to those of you who have supported the channel by buying us a cup of coffee. First off, my Scottish friends, Scott Gardner. Thanks, buddy. Next up, Kim and Mirka, all the way from Finland. Thank you so much, guys. And now to another friend of the channel, Rachel Irwin. So happy that my tips and tricks have been helping you out. And now here's a coconut smile to Nick and his very sweet little daughter, Ella. Hope to see you again soon, Ella. And now a big thank you for that big cup of coffee from Liz. I hope you enjoy your September trip to Universal, Liz. And now a coconut smile to Jennifer, who also will be having an upcoming trip to Universal. And here's a thank you to a couple more friends of the channel, Chris and Jenny. Enjoy your September trip, guys. And now, here's a spotter of one of the hidden Rickies, Donna McCoy. Good eye, Donna.